So first things first, Fred, how are you? Good. It's good to be here again. Yes. Um, well, before we uh, get into the music that you're uh, making now, I'd like to jump back 10 years, because this year is the uh, anniversary of Watershed, uh, which is uh, just around the time that you, uh, it's the first album you contributed to. So what are your memories of those times? And then you being new to the band. Oh, well, well it was nice to be able to do at least one gig before we did the recording of Watershed. And uh, yeah, it was good times, you know. I was really looking forward to start working with the band and happy to get the gig, of course, you know. Right. And uh, we had a lot of fun. Still do, actually. <laughs> so I'm still, uh, I'm very happy with that album, too. I think it is a very cool, diverse album. It still had the, uh, it's probably the last album with more of the death element, death metal elements in it, in a way. But, so uh, yeah, it's fun to play it. We were talking about doing like anniversary shows of it, but it didn't come through. But uh, was it yeah, some crazy times, a lot of touring. We did a lot of touring on that album, long seven weeks runs in America and stuff like that. So yeah. Was it a difficult process for you because you just came out of a, another band and you have to adjust and then you toured that much? Or was it a good thing that you toured that much? So because you could learn and get, get angry? Yeah, at that time I just wanted to tour and tour and tour. It was what I wanted to do, so it was perfect. Mm. And I just came from a, a lot of touring with Arch Enemy that I played with right. before that. So, but um, that's what you, your goal has been all life, you know, to tour. And uh, now we've done it for some time. We tour a little bit less, but we still enjoy it. Mm. And uh, well, but you yeah, can sort of get back to your actual question there. <laughs> uh, of course, it was dis difficult, you know. It was quite different music, and um, takes a few gigs, a few rehearsals. I had a lot of sit downs with Michael, just me and him playing a lot of guitar, and that helped a lot. And I was a fan of the band as well, so I, I was familiar with the songs. But it's a different thing listening to the music and playing it, of course. Right. And then, uh, well, you touched upon it as well. Then, then after Watershed comes Heritage, which you, which is. Um more of a departure from, from what the band used to be than, than maybe Watershed was. So, and, and I think with, with every album there have been elements that kind of uh, progressed the band in a way. So, so how, has, how has your experience been of that development of the band in the, over the last three albums? Yeah, in a way I think the three albums after Watershed is in a way a bit connected. They're different from one each other, but they kind of go together. Uh, and uh, like the very first time I said this before, but uh, when we Michael had the idea about heritage, I was a bit like, "Whoa, that's a bold step," you know. But then when we started working with the stuff, and this is pretty heavy actually. It's kind, of, it's a different, heavy in a different way. You know, it's darker in a different way, and it was interesting. I think it was. The band needed to do something different. I was fresh in the band still then, but especially the other guys, they needed to, and Michael and Martin Mendes, they were, you know, it's also been a very important thing with Opeth, that the band tries to do something new every time. Was this a welcome sight for you? Because I, and this is something I read on the internet, so you never know if it's true, but that you, when you were younger, you were very much into, uh, uh, into jazz uh, guitar playing and, and that, those kind of elements. So was this this kind of direction and the, the openness of, of the, the music that Opeth made, was that very welcoming for you? Uh, that I was into jazz before that? Or? No, but that, that, you, that you had this interest in different styles then, yeah. and, and, and that you could explore them with Opeth because they were uh, very open-minded. Yeah, that was very interesting to play. Uh, one aspect with playing with the band is exactly, exactly what you mentioned there, that it contains a lot of different styles of guitar mm. playing. Like, some solos might be a bit more laid back, some are more aggressive and metal kind of solos, or mm -hmm. some are even a bit fusionish, right. uh, fusionized, or whatever you can call it. Uh, so, it, stuff like that is challenging to try to do stuff with variation. Mm. Do, do, do and you, interesting. Do you, uh, in between albums, or do you. Do you 
uh, play with with different styles, or just on your own, or even in, in uh, rehearsals, so just try and yeah, absolutely. Challenge yourself. I'm very interested in like gypsy jazz kind okay. of playing, and uh, also like, jazz theory and stuff like that. I, I, I think it's something you can develop in metal music, hard rock music as well. You know, if you know more, just basically playing blues. You know, a lot of I play this hard rock kind of blues. You're on the same scale, all those three basic chords in the basic blues, but right. actually if you scratch the surface and start playing over the actual chords, when people usually call it, you're playing uh, blue notes or whatever out yeah. there, but it's not really, it's just you're playing the key tones over the chords and it, it opens up new dimensions in your playing. I find that something that I work on still and try to develop and some, occasionally some stuff sink into your muscle memory and it actually Hopefully you can develop it if you're improvising stuff like that. You know, right. it's an uh, endless, pr ongoing process, which is fun. Anyway. That's yeah. why I like to play guitar. You can always get better. Well, I was going to ask because uh, you've been playing guitar for, for a long time. So, is the passion that you have for it the same as, as when you started when you were a young kid? Yeah, I think so. I, I try. I like to think so. I try to have the same mentality when I got poisoned uh, when I was about 16. No. 14, 15, that's when I started practice a lot, when like, I saw Michael Schenker on TV and then the first Ingvi Monsen came out and that was just mind-blowing, you know. And um, so that, I try to practice still, you know, and uh, not be lazy, sit around and have your old shops, but um, try to, to not shop for every, every album we do. Right. Hopefully something comes through. You know. What was it about the guitar and, and uh, seeing people like Michael Schenker and Ingrid Maltzig play? Well, what did the guitar give you in, in that period of your life? Because that, that time, 14 years old, is very developmental. That's, that's kind of when you start to find your identity, I think. so. What did the guitar do for you? Uh, in one way, escape from general life, more of a, like a almost like a meditation that when you sit around play sometimes the time seems to um, stop existing you know what I mean and that's in a way kind of meditation so you can get away from everything and also where I grew up there was a lot of kids playing guitar and it was kind of a community as well so we also got some friends along with it you know and um, probably when you were in school if you're you got some status maybe you know, people are, oh, it's, maybe today people don't look up to guitar players, but at least it was like that when I was. <laughs> so that was cool, but mainly an interest, which I think is important when you're young to have an interest. Mm. After running around on the streets and doing crazy shit. Right. 